Hi, my name is Sarah Mancini. I'm with the Office of Neighborhood Coordination, and I'm here with Carrie and Marjorie, and we're here to talk about 311 and the work that they do um, to support the citizens of Albuquerque. So I guess first, would you guys mind introducing yourselves and just telling us a little bit about what you do? Sure, my name is Carrie Prothro. I'm the division manager for the city of Albuquerque's 311 Citizen Contact Center, and uh, I'm responsible for managing the department and all of its employees. Okay. Hi, thank you for having us. Yeah. Uh, my name is Marjorie Germain. I am the Citizen Contact Outreach Coordinator for 311. My job is, my responsibility primarily is to focus on existing operation and um, creating a new program for implementation of the uh, 311 call center. Okay, um, and so if a neighborhood association was looking to have a representative from 311 come to their group, would that be you, Marjorie? Okay. Yes. Um, so, well, I guess, Marjorie, I'll start with you, is what type of information can three people call 311 for? 311 offer a number of services, uh, such as um, transit, we can plan your ride, okay. your loss, report for animal, praise, loss, you know, found your animal. Uh -huh. uh, we have um, the police for abandoned, your abandoned vehicles. Okay. Uh, planning, uh, family and community service, cultural services, and environmental health, okay. like noisy or burning. So it yeah. sounds like anything that the anything. city does, someone can call 311, 311. get an answer. Get an or, answer. Okay, or, or submit a claim. or Okay, a claim, that's probably not the right word. Huh? No. Submit a, a complaint. Request. A, a complaint, a service a complaint. request, so okay, that's to what you would or call a ticket. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, Carrie, what, what should people expect when they call 311? Um, first and foremost, they should expect an excellent customer service experience. Uh, you know, we, we expect to have our agents answer the phone really quickly and to be friendly and professional when okay. they do so. Um, you know, they, what happens internally when a citizen calls in really is dependent on what type of question the citizen is asking. So if a citizen is asking a question that can be answered over the phone, we'll do that for you right away. Mm -hmm. If it's something that's a little bit more complex that requires a department to uh, respond, what the agent at 311 will do is they'll gather all of the necessary information, they'll generate a service request, and they'll route it to the department to the department appropriately for handling. Oh, okay. Um, and how do those different departments handle their 311 calls? Sure, that's an excellent question. Um, <clears throat> it's dependent on what the different departments, how they're set up to take those 311 okay. calls. Usually the departments have their own internal system. So our tickets get routed over to their system. Uh, and then from there, they assign it the workout accordingly. Uh, there's a number of different ways that they can receive those tickets. So either through their internal system, they can certainly take a look through our 311 internal ticketing reporting system. They can also be emailed a notification that they've received a service request from someone in the general public that needs some assistance. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I place a call, um, what type of response should I expect from 311 if regarding my, my inquiry? Sure, we can gather all of the information that you need uh, to fulfill your service request. If you're calling in for an update, we can certainly provide that update for you, okay. depending on what the department has uh, notified us of, and uh, we can certainly provide you information on previous tickets as well if you're just calling to check in to see what the status is. Uh, you're also emailed if we get your email address on file, okay. and you're notified of the status of your service request that way. Um, is there anything else you guys wanted to add on, on what a caller should expect or how your operations work? I think it's important for callers to know that when they call into 311, we'll do everything we can to make sure that they're satisfied and that their issue is resolved. And because we partner with the other departments, sometimes uh, we have to work with them in order to provide that information mm. quickly to our citizens. So it's just understanding that we'll absolutely take the information for you. We'll get it worked to the best of our ability. And if you're ever having some difficulty getting some resolution, to please don't hesitate to call us again Yeah, to mm. reach back out. Well, I've I've called through one a few times, and I've always found the service very, very.
very positive, helpful, um, they're very respectful and, and patient with me as I struggle with whatever information they need in sure. order to help me. So it's, it's been a great service. Great. What I wanted to add also, 311 helped the city government improve their service by uh, we provide a consistent data tracking system oh. to the department. Interesting. So. And so you, you use that data, data to improve the services the that service. the city provides? Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. It helps us be more responsive to our citizens' needs. Okay. Interesting. Um, well, I guess all that's left really to ask is how can people get connected with 311? Sure. We can dial 311. Uh -huh. it's, it's a one-stop shop. Okay. 311. There's many avenues you can reach uh, 311. Uh, Twitter, see, click, fix, email, now Alexa, but our preferred method is to call 311. Uh, we provide a class service and you can always assure, assure you that you will be speaking to a live person. Oh, okay. And it's always our privilege to serve you. Okay, so and you mentioned Twitter? You can yes. connect yeah. to 311 through uh -huh. Twitter? Yes, mm -hmm. you can uh, reach 311 through Twitter. Uh, you can also reach us, Marjorie mentioned Alexa. Uh -huh. uh, that's soon coming to the residents for the city of Albuquerque. Uh, it's exciting, so it, those who have an Alexa-enabled device can utilize that to reach out and get some frequently asked questions answered. They can also utilize it to uh, process some service requests if they have, for example, a large item pickup, Alexa can mm -hmm. help with it. Really? Yeah. Oh, great. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, well, is there anything else that you think it's important our neighborhoods know about 311 and how to engage with the services you provide? Well, except we are here to serve the citizen of Albuquerque. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs>